Hi everyone, Stephen Gordon here again. Um, we're out on the putting green at Bangor Golf Club. And today I've got a quick tip for you on how to hole out, how to hole more putts, especially when you're thinking about controlling your pace when you're putting. And I want to dedicate this one to Stuart Cave. Stuart ran 80 yards across Tesco the other day to grab me and beg for help with his putting. Stuart, always happy to help, but maybe next time don't scare my kids at Tesco's. Um, what we've got here, I'll put up a little uh, picture that you can see uh, better, but I've got a traffic light system here in the hole, and this represents pace of the ball hitting the back of the cup. I got this idea from a great putting coach called David Orr. You should check out his website, it's called Flatstick Academy. And the red traffic light at the top, that's when the ball absolutely rattles the back of the cup. And if you don't have it perfectly in the middle, it can lip out like this. So what we want is an amber or a green where the ball's gonna fall into the back of the hole. At least then it makes it up to the hole and ha always has a chance of going in. If you are this kind of person who literally pokes their way into the hole, that's fine, but there's gonna be times where you're gonna leave that short and it's gonna be very frustrating. And that's what Stuart was saying. He was saying that he kept leaving all his short putts short of the hole. So give that a go. Try and get it to fall into the back of the hole. Think about it that way rather than just getting up to the front edge.